the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Cowboy Curtis gave me the choice. I wanted the, the blue pill. I've never seen the movies, which is weird, but from what I understand, the blue pill kind of brings everything to an end, right? Like I wake up in bed or something, and this whole thing was just a dream. Sounds good to me. Perhaps I was wrong about you, Neo. I'm sorry you won't be joining us. Of course, there's not much of a game if you take the blue pill, so I went back and took the red one. I immediately regretted the decision. It's funny the game gives you the choice not to play it at all, because once you do, you realize that was the better choice. Matrix Path of Neo is just an ugly, clunky mess of a video game. I've been looking for you, Neo. You're in danger. What the hell do they want from me? I don't know, but if you don't want to find out, I suggest you get out of there. Released back in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox, Path of Neo is the third Matrix game. Frankly, it hardly entices me to play the other two. I'd tell you what genre to expect, but I don't even know what it is. I don't even think the game knows what it is, because it tries a dozen different things and only does one of them well. So, uh, I, mean, I guess we'll do this chronologically. Path of Neo starts off with an interactive difficulty adjuster. And this is the coolest thing about the game. So rather than just give you options, the game instead gives you this gauntlet of enemies. But then it recommends a difficulty based on your performance. Very cool. And since it showcases the game's strong points, I mean, it really gets your hopes up. And then that all just... When I tell you, go to the end of the row and wait for my instruction. Stay as low as you can. So after all those cool beat-em-up combos and this Matrix-looking environment, the game starts you off with a game of freaking hide-and-seek in an office. I mean, it's literally a stealth game in which your only means of defense is to push people. And here's the problem. I mean, it's the longest, most tedious level in history. Eventually, the game settles into what it's good at, your prototypical beat-em-up gameplay. But this is actually when things start looking up. Path of Neo is actually a pretty decent brawler at its core. I mean, the combat looks generic at first, but there's an awesome series of combinations you can learn, and they look fantastic. Not only that, but they're a lot of fun to pull off. Of course, the fun doesn't last, though. Even that eventually becomes stale due to horrible level design. And by the time the game evolves into Max Payne the Keanu Edition, you'll be too bored to care. I'll be real honest, th this is not a good game. But it awkwardly crams in movie scenes, it's hideous to look at, and even those awesome beat-em-up combos eventually get stale, thanks to bland level design. But I suppose fans of the Matrix films and or Footsteps Falco might have more fun with Path of Neo than others, but even then, it won't last long, you'll, and you'll wish you took the blue one. <laughs> 